What up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with a very special reaction for you. Well, with it being MCC Day today, I wanted to do things uh, all related to Minecraft, and we're jumping into Grian's brand new video. I attempted to recreate the bottom hole in Lego. That is right, fam. I'm a grown man, and I still love Legos, and I'm really excited to see Grian attempt uh, to rebuild the bottom hole out of Legos. This is gonna be absolutely insane, and I'm super stoked to react to this, but before we jump into the video, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. And make sure you subscribe and like Green's video as well. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. For this. By the Lego group. Ah! When the Lego group asked me if it's I wanted green. to be involved in. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, yes, finish. Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. The Lego yes, group has right sent now. me yes. a whole bunch of Lego Minecraft sets and they've given me the challenge to quote, build your world. They want me to remake some of the best moments from my Minecraft series. And there's only really one thing that comes to mind Bottom when you hole. talk about my favorite moments from Hermitcraft Season 8. And that is the bottom hole. Just think about all the glorious moments we've had in this specific spot. Oh, let's see, let's see some. Poor Scar! Oh my God! The bottom hole just eats Scar up. Oh no! How many lives has this taken? Okay, here we go. Trigger? Did it trigger? Oh, oh chat, how many lives has the bottom hole taken? Jeez. Literally, it just it is like the sacrificial hole of Hermitcraft and just taking all of them. <laughs> oh, come on! Everyone make So long, Saga! Oh my god, this is epic. Oh, <laughs> right. The boat there. Oh, he got it. He got it. Scar! Oh, God. It's the no, no, it's go! No! No! <laughs> I don't have any rockets. Throw me some rockets. I, I can't, Scar. Throw I me can't. some rockets. <laughs> it was like, just accept your no, fate, Scar. <laughs> Jeez, like, literally, <laughs> literally, like, almost all of these are just Scar. That poor guy in the bottom hole do not have a good relationship. <laughs> no, 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 I don't actually, I don't actually have rockets. Away we go Wait. like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Scar, what are you doing? This is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Scar? <laughs> Which, by the way, chap, I should hopefully in the next week or two be getting my Good Times with Scar merch. Man, I'm going to be rocking that swag and co hoodie. Woo! It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Now the issue is that the bottom hole is not particularly easy to recreate out of Lego How bricks. Know. How in the heck is he Especially do this? in the way that we play Minecraft here. So what I think we should do, if we're gonna be recreating this in Lego bricks, is take a cross section, a, a big chunk of land and try and recreate it as if it was a giant ant farm. Basically, just like this. Chat, I mean, seriously, the amount of Legos he's going to need to do this and just trying to get the scale down, like, this is going to be insane. Like, you could do a whole wall, a whole, a whole portion of your wall for this build. Minecraft in real life. I'm like, this is such As a you can good see, idea. We've got our Mumbo meeting room. Green, and you, you are a genius, the brother. Hole that goes all the way down to bedrock. And I've done just a little bit of cleaning up to make sure that the stone hasn't got loads of holes in it everywhere. Now, it's important to remember that this here, this big cross section, is just a reference image. I don't so think cool, the Lego brick recreation of this should be completely flat, but it's a very, very good starting point. And one thing's for sure, this is very, very tall. So we're going to be needing Jeez. quite a lot of LEGO Minecraft sets. So, let's see what exactly we have. Ah! Here's what we have to work hey, with. Hey, Green, what up, bro? What up, Green? It's Green in real life, let's go! 
<laughs> let's go chat! A versatile Lego Minecraft set, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of them, and I've got a couple of supplementary sets here as well, and you know what? The size of this thing that I want to build, I still don't think that there's enough grey Lego bricks in these sets. So it's that true. meant a quick stop to my local Lego store and the pick and build wall, where oh I was able God. to pick up everything I needed. Shout out to Lauren for her amazing help. Okay, Such a good I think... idea. <laughs> Surely this is enough. Surely this is this is more <laughs> this is more than I could ever need. I hope. What we need this to do is start opening idea. this up and get started. One thing's for sure, I don't think we're going to be needing these because we're going off script completely. I also have to contend with the fact that I'll be dealing with some very curious little kitters that want to play with Lego bricks just as much as I do. I'll be honest, I'm not sure I've thought this through. I think the first thing I need to do is kind of- Oh my god, chat! Look at all those Legos! Oh my lanta! That is a lot of Legos. You definitely gotta get some sort of organization put together of like colors, different sizes of brick. Um, this is gonna be epic chat. These a bit better. I'm just, I'm amazed at this is such a good idea. I hope Green gives us like a, not necessarily a, excuse me. Okay, so we've got timeline, everything organized. Let's hop him. back into Minecraft. So now we need to figure out how we're going to approach building this. Now, For I have real. an idea. Instead of just starting from the bottom, what we need to do is define the scale. What we're going to yes. do is essentially build the potato mumbo with the green hair. Oh, that's a really good idea because if he gets the mumbo face um, scaled down, then obviously everything else will be scaled from that. See, this is why Green is such so big brain. Like this dude is literally brilliant. And go on the basis that a single two by two Lego brick will be one block, and we'll see what it looks like. And if it works out, then the scale will be set effectively like that. So I Smart attempted to move. make a quick mumbo face, and I had a bit of a learning curve with Lego bricks. Oh my god! No, no. Oh no! It turns out that <laughs> gravity. Is something you have to contend with and make sure that you put backing bricks on every single part or it will just all come apart. Considering that this is the first Lego brick creation I've made without instructions in about 20 years, Let's I think go. I pretty much nailed it. I got exactly really what I good. wanted to create from the reference picture. What I did learn, however, is that Lego bricks seem to be a little bit wider than they are tall, which is not the same in Minecraft where everything is exactly a perfect cube. To compensate for that, I have to shave off a few bricks either side of the build to try and create a more square approach. Now that I've done that exercise and I understand the scale, it's time to get started properly. And it's very important that I spend time at the start of this creating the strongest base plate. So literally, right, he's got to build a strong foundation uh, for this whole build. Like, this is insane and grand. Like, that is mumbo. That is Lego mumbo. We have ourselves, chat, the, for the very first time, a Lego mumbo. And man, look at that burly mustache. Look at that moustache. Oh, this is so good. Everything on oh, this foundation has to take the weight and we the height and he gets of what I'm everything. about to create. So I kind of- Actually, speaking of cats, chat, do, do your guys' cats have a thing with glasses of water? Our cat, he's just, he's addicted to knocking over glasses of water. But, but not just, it's not glasses. It's glasses with liquid in it. Like if he sees an empty glass, He'll leave it be. But if it's a glass with liquid, boom, knocked over. Over did it with linking up all of those base bricks and getting them to be as strong as possible. So what we got here is our very first layer. This is the bedrock and I've tried to make it as sort of like blocky and out there and not as flat as possible. Now what we're going to do is just keep building upwards, but I've got a very difficult task now because essentially the room that has a bubble right here. So I've got to make sure that it's structurally sound round the back, which is something I don't have to deal with in Minecraft. 
is uh, gravity and physics. Right. So let's uh, real life. Let's go. Don't have to We're deal about with to real find life. out whether my building skills in Minecraft translate into building well with Lego bricks. Using very similar methodology, I'm using a gradient to go from darker colors to lighter colors. The only difference is here that there aren't quite as many shades of these colors as there is in Minecraft. But the differences with Lego yeah, bricks is, is that insane. there are much, much more varied shapes. Instead of just single cubes, there are some with slants on them. There's some with textures on them. You got this wonderful brick pattern that I have a lot of Lego bricks of. So I'm going to be using all the different kinds of bricks, especially the ones that have come in the LEGO Minecraft sets, to try and create a cliff face that isn't completely flat. There's been quite a lot of building, so why don't we- <laughs> The cats are like, man, we are exhausted. We are exhausted watching you build this. This is awesome. Poor little kitty's Cutwin. Well, kitty's Cutwin. very quick, cute little cutter break. Look at them. It's her. Oh, they're all tuckered out from chasing Lego bricks round the room. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! Okay, so let's just quickly There's talk about precious. what I've got going on here. So as you can see, got I've got three layers. I've got the, the black down here for the bedrock, then the grey, then the light grey. The issue is, I'm already running out. I've already run out of black, I've already run out of dark grey, and I'm running out of grey bricks already, so I'm gonna have to get creative by adding some more things like this, which are like granite, and I'm gonna have to get very creative in order to conserve those very valuable blocks. I think this is going pretty well. Right here, I've got That's myself amazing. a waterfall, which I thought was quite clever, and it's got a lot of shape going on, so let's continue. This is awesome. So my favorite feature of this build so far is on the right hand side, which is the waterfall. I yes, wanted to I create it. a little indent. I also, and chat, I really love these, the actual Minecraft brick blocks. Like that is This cool. isn't in the source reference material at all. There is no underground waterfall in this build, but I saw these translucent blue Lego bricks. They were actually used as waterfalls in the Lego Minecraft sets. And I thought this would work really well in this build. And it's gonna help break up this enormous structure. So the other thing that I've done is you can see diorite and granite. It could be lava or granite, it doesn't really matter. I just had to use a different color to try and take up some space that isn't light gray because Jesus. I definitely this is was so running cool. Out. What do I do with you? You've only been seeing what's been going on in the front. I need to kind of inform you of what's been going on in the back. No, hold on, hold on. Let me add some context. Grian doesn't finish backs of his builds, or that's what he gets he gets some crap for, right? But it's it's all jokes. But that's what he's about to show us, and I have a feeling he's about to talk about is how the back, obviously, why would you finish the back of this? Because it's real life Lego set, but uh, this is gonna be good, chat. Of my shortage of gray bricks, <laughs> I've had to resort to using anything that's not seen in a different color, and I've had to reinforce this structure with these pillars, which has actually gone surprisingly well. The only issue now, is that I need, I need to get a strong foundation for the next bit. So to give you an idea of how much we've got left, we're not we're just over halfway. Oh wow. And then we've got one of these on top. I'm not sure I have enough Lego bricks, but we're gonna find out. I've created a couple of plates out of various parts to put on the top to give myself a bit more of a foundation. And then from there, we just need to get the mumbo room meeting room done. And I think we're good. Even if I had thousands more Lego bricks, you know I probably wouldn't have done the back anyway. Right? So what I'm moving on to now is the all important feature of the meeting room in the bottom oh, hole. This is gonna be the and best this part one posed a bit of a challenge because it's obviously quite deep into the structure, which is why I had to spend all that time on the back creating the support so this thing doesn't fall apart. And you know what? You can't see it in the video, but it is pretty sturdy. You can shake it around. It's not gonna fall. It's not precarious at all. I don't know how it, it was done completely amazing. by accident. I expected this thing to fall over and collapse, but it didn't. Oh. <laughs> it's green! Hi, green! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so this room was looking a little bit bland. It was all pretty straight walls, which 
isn't what I've gone for for the rest of the build. So what I attempted to do was create something that isn't there in the source material and create pillars with arches and try wow. my best to recreate some redstone lamps with the translucent tiny little Lego bricks that you see there and attach them to the front. Trying to create something that isn't just like the bland straight white room and I think it came out pretty cool. And then it was yes. time to build up the rest of the gray blocks either side and meet over the middle. I am running desperately short of gray <laughs> bricks at this point. I am scraping the bottom of the barrel and using as many of those tiny two by one gray Lego bricks. Oh and my goodness. by the time I got to this point, I was like, okay, I just have to start putting the dirt in. Fortunately for me, it was just enough to reach the height that I was after. What? After that, it Perfect. became pretty simple. I created the rest of the dirt on top and then layered over the green Lego bricks that were just quite Bro. flat pieces to make it look like grass on top of dirt, the same way that you would see a grass in block in Minecraft. After that, I had some help from my wife who made a few Minecraft trees for me to put on top of this thing. Aww. And the all important thing right at the end was to create the actual bottom pole. I oh, needed wow. to somehow make some floating crafting benches and boats and with a little bit of look at those, intricate Look at those Lego trees! Chat, that is awesome! Design, I think Let's I managed go. to do it. You might be able to see where it's attached, but it looks like it's floating to me. I'm pretty proud of it. So now that the Lego bottom hole is complete, what? it's time to recreate a couple of really good moments. You're probably wondering how I got here. No, I went too far. Went too far. <laughs> right, go. so let's compare side by side the real bottom hole oh my with God. the Lego bottom hole. And Bree, I've got you to tell you this. right now, I absolutely prefer the Lego bottom hole. Yes! I think the texture and the depth and the detail that I somewhat made accidentally experimenting with all the different kinds of Lego bricks that I had available. And how, what I personally love about this chat is how like, this isn't flat, right? Just how much detail he has on the side of these and it just gives it, it gives this build life. Available has produced something that looks absolutely mesmerizing. There's so much to look at with so few bricks. They are layered on top of each other in a way that makes it look like and it's a I love a how Mumbo face, is the center of this. also still a cross section. Some of my favorite features, of course, are the stacked boats, it's our shaking. lovely mumbo Tato machine with his little suit and his hands and his little bow tie. Oh. It's amazing. This is one of my favorite bits, but I also really like the waterfall yes. at the bottom yes. and the shapes of the entire thing as we move through. And all the little tricks that I had to do to conserve light gray bricks, such as attaching plates to the sides of the oh, cliff wow. to hide other colored bricks. And the back is an absolute <laughs> mess of different colored bricks all over yes. the shop. So I'd love to know exactly what you thought of this oh, Lego no, creation. Ah, Did I nail it? Cat. Is it not good enough? Is it not similar enough? One thing is for sure. Beautiful. I spent a week building this thing and I absolutely loved every second of it. If you want to check out some Lego Minecraft sets wow. of your own, check the link in the description that will take you to the Lego website. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's and go. I shall see you in the next one. Good bye. Yes, chat, 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 chat. Hold on, hold on. Hey, again, make sure you subscribe to Green. Smash that notification bell. Let's like the video. All right, let me bring you in chat. Please, Spotify. There we go. Guys, what did you think of this build? This was insane. And again, like this is almost inspiring of content to make recreating stuff with Legos. God, chat, let me know what you think. I, like I'm really inspired right now. I think I might, might do some recreating myself with Legos and it, it, it makes you feel like a kid again. Who doesn't still love building with Legos. Um, a couple years ago, my daughters really got into Legos and you know, we built stuff together. Um, this is really awesome. I love this. I had an absolute blast reacting to this. Chat, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you thought uh, of his recreation with it. Um, I think it'd be really cool if he did some kind of like, uh, um, 
other other builds with Legos, you know, of stuff that's in Hermitcraft season eight, uh, even though I can't even fathom how long it'd take to do other stuff, <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know, scar swagons or something, but this was amazing chat. I had an absolute blast reacting to this. And if you enjoyed it, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Again, make sure you show Green some love. Go over to his channel, subscribe, watch the original video, like it as well. But enjoy your weekend fam. And remember, it's eat, sleep and make beats. And as usual, be kind of one another. And that's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Uh, got number love for the sauce gang. Peace out, fam. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Booyah!